Welcome to NHL 21. Today we are going to learn a few tricks on how to protect the puck once we get our hands on it, of course. And uh, the first trick involves holding down that X button. And uh, what it'll do is it'll skate slow, but he's going to protect it. And it's going to give us a nice uh, little uh, check mark right there. In fact, two check marks. Now, this is a good way to protect the puck. I will warn you, though, that while it does protect the puck, if you take a hard hit, it's uh, not immune. But it's not going to turn it over on a little bit of contact. It has to be, you know, a hard hit. In this spot right here, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, puck control. All right, we have the puck right there, and I'm going to zoom in just so you can see uh, right here. Now, if you'll notice the defender is on our left shoulder, that means we want to spin the opposite way. If you'll notice right here, we're actually initiating that before. So we're taking the left analog stick and we're moving it to the left. So we're going to do a little spin around in a circle there. Okay. So we're skating up ice. Defender's still chasing us. We're going to keep skating up ice here. We could pass it, uh, but we, we have control of the puck. Now, if you'll notice this time, the defender is on our right shoulder. What does that mean? That means if you'll notice the left analog stick, the white dot, uh, in the red circle on the bottom right hand corner of the screen that turns right here we're going to skate around the opposite way of which shoulder he's on and we lose him right there and of course we're going to quickly pass with our two right there and then if you'll notice right here as soon as this guy gets the puck right analog stick up quickly to the right top corner and we get a nice uh, one-timer uh, goal right there To perform a speed boost, what we're going to do is we're going to take the left analog stick and press it in, and then we're going to start skating fast. As you can see, he's taking big strides there. What you may also notice, or not quite notice, is that this player does not have control of the puck when he's doing a speed boost. Not very good control of the puck, that is. So all basically a defender needs to do is tap him just a little bit, and uh, he loses control of the puck. So something to keep in mind there when using the speed boost. Another way we can control the puck is by dekeying. Okay, here we're skating right here. The easiest deke to do is to take the right analog stick and either move it to the right or the left. In this case, we're going to move it to the left and deke uh, backhand. As you can see, we're controlling the puck right there by performing the deke. Okay, we let go of the deke and we go ahead and spin around. But that's the easiest way to do it. There's a bunch of other ways to do it as well. Uh, but the easiest way to do it is to simply take the right analog stick and either push it to the right or push it to the left. Now make sure you don't push it up because that is going to be a wrist shot. Uh, but yeah, wrist shots are nice too. One other thing about performing the deke, which we're going to do right here by taking the right analog stick to the left, is that when you're skating in slow and controlling the puck with the deke, you're more likely to draw a penalty uh, like we do right there. Let's say we're shorthanded and we want to kill off a penalty by dumping the puck. What we're going to do, of course, is first get control of the puck. Once we have control of the puck, what we're going to do is we're going to hold down R1 and we're going to let it fill up like a shot meter. And then we're going to take the right analog stick and flick it forward. And the left analog stick is going to be used to aim uh, right there. Of course, the longer you hold it, the further it will go. Uh, let's do this one more time again. Okay, we got control of the puck. We're going to skate around. We're holding down R1 to fill up the shot meter. And what we're going to do, of course, is we're going to flick the right analog stick up right there. And then the left analog stick is going to be used to aim. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind don't uh, flick it into the bench or you'll get a penalty, but uh, that's basically how you do it there. Okay, let's see if we can put it all together here. Kind of hold down X to protect the puck right there as we get by this player. Going to let go of X. Going to skate normal. And right about here, we're going to take the right analog stick and push it to the right. So we're going to deke to the right. We have a left-handed shooter, so the goal is going to be to spin around with a left analog stick right there. We're going to let go of our deke. We're going to look for this lane right here. you got to hit the right lane, otherwise you get knocked out. 
we don't get knocked out there. And then you want to slow down. You don't want to be using the speed boost here. You want to be in under control. Take the right analog stick, flick it up, and then take the left analog stick and aim to the top right hand corner for the wrist shot right there. If you can get the timing down, this can be a very effective way to score goals. And that's going to wrap this up for tips on puck control. As always, if one is looking for more tips, you can either check out the, the playlist on this channel for the NHL playlist, or you can check out the link in the description below. I'm going to try to leave a comment in the comment section with a link to the NHL tips playlist as well. Basically, I post a lot of different videos, maybe 40 or 50 on NHL, and uh, quite a few more on other games and stuff like that. So if you want the NHL stuff, you want to check out uh, that playlist. Anyway, thanks for watching and good luck.